Hello everybody, WRF572 here. Welcome back to some more Sepia Tears. Last time, we met this girl, Mira. Is she a ghost, a vampire, or some kind of fictional character? Well, she is technically fictional. Friggin' visual novels, yay. But, what I mean is, is she just in our head? Is she not real entirely? Who knows? We met her, though. We definitely met her. And she's currently leaving. One by one, her footsteps grow distant. Oh crud, it's been so long. What the hell kind of voice did I give her? Well then, goodbye, my... Her final words are lost as she steps off the edge of the roof. Wait, steps off the edge? What the... I dash to the edge of the roof as fast as I can and look down. But there's nothing. Holy shit! Not uh, even a footprint on the freshly fallen snow. My head is spinning. I don't want to think. I don't want to think. I don't want to. It's there. It's there and it keeps coming back. I see her and... What was it she called herself? The person I wish I never met? Is she here to haunt me? Likely. But then, why do I feel so... at ease? The girl in the sunset watches me. Like a figure in a faded photograph, she watches me. Like a portrait. Like yourself in a house of mirrors. Watching. Always watching. Possibly stalking. She just won't blink. All the while, the snow continues to fall. Miro's figure dances through my mind, trapping me somewhere between curiosity and awe. It's the beginning of winter. As the snow dusts the city streets, I can't help imagining that her footprints will turn up very, very soon. Yep. Day two, winter strolls. Darkness. The blackness is thick like mud. Thick, mud-like. I look around me, but it's clear that I'm the only one here. There should be another. She might enjoy hide and seek, but I have a hunch that she isn't very good at it. My heart races alongside my feet. I'm sorry, just just a quick moment. Alright, that'll be a bit better. Slightly louder for you folks as well. Freaking 8-bit stuff right here. Ugh, what's going on? My body feels light. Just a little more. She's close. I know it. The song. I know I've heard it before, but... Where? That's actually kind of true. I do feel like I've heard this song before. Ah! Rin, I'm warning you. 
If that song continues for another minute, I'll... Who the, Who the heck leaves their ringtone on Max on a Saturday morning? <laughs> gosh, that's, that's a ringtone? Oh my gosh. The next thing I hear is the sound of rushing water as I prepare for the morning. There's something odd about the lucidity. Wait, did I say that right? Yeah. Of that dream. Two days in a row, too. Unless this is Mira's doing, somehow. Except, no. This can't be anything more than a coincidence. I'll approach it logically. Like any normal person. One thing, I never did figure out how she disappeared from the roof. She couldn't have jumped to the ground from that distance, much less without a single footprint. There was a soft noise after she jumped, but that was it. Maybe she jumped onto a balcony or something. But then, where did she vanish to? Although the real question is why anyone would do that to begin with. She knew what school I went to, too. Does she know where I live? She somehow knew the what route I take home. Stalker. No matter what, when you think about it, it's that way. But if she knows me, why do I not recognize her? Hmm. No. No, no, this is all wrong. Dream doesn't make sense. No, this makes sense. It doesn't even matter. If she wants to dig up my memories, she'll have to try harder than that. Alright then, breakfast. I'm up before Rin for once. This is more rare of an occasion, of an occurrence than it should be. Uh, morning, honey Chen. I glare at her. She stops. So, was that one of your friends calling this morning? Eh, yeah, sort of. I told her to call last night, but she missed me, so... She scratches the back of her head and gives her best oops sorry look. You know, that ringtone of yours woke me up this morning. Really? S sorry. That's not bad for a fake blush, but it's not superb. Six out of ten. <laughs> Six out of ten? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it. Fair rating. Did I mention that I was having a nice dream when I was so rudely awoken? Oh, were you dreaming about Lillian? I don't know. Of course not. I slammed the coffee mug down, but it doesn't earn as much as flinch. Instead... Oh, so you weren't dreaming about her? Then what are you complaining about? By the way... You were going to Lucas... Lucas's place to stay today, right? The tables have turned. Perhaps. Oh, okay. You were going to fail your exams and repeat the year with me in your class, then. Ah, uh, no. I certainly hope not. Well then, you know what you have to do. Cold. But Mark, I'm the one who should be saying that. It's freezing. Neither of us are willing to step into the attack range of the icy wind. <laughs> the attack range? Are you saying it like a freaking... Icy wind. It's... Attack range? Icy wind? Reminds me of Pokemon as well as some MMORPGs with gosh darn ranges are you are you sure you want to go through with this 
It's not like we're actually going to study. Oh gosh. Out with the truth. Out with it, truth. Just no more. I know. I but he got the new culpable Axel game. Don't you understand? What the hell is a culpable culpable axe? It's cheap Japanese Japanese style censorship. They'll never guess what we're really talking about. <sighs> Eroge. Some kind of Eroge. And who exactly is they? <laughs> Freaking breaking the fourth wall, Rin! You know. Them. No one's listening. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the hell is she? And why is she breaking the fourth wall? Although with Miro around, I can't be so sure. Ren and I walk over to Lucas's place. Yeah, I said that right, I think. Without any mishaps. Plus or minus a few frozen fingers. <laughs> oh, I hope he turned the heat on. I can't play when my fingers are cold. Don't worry. I'm sure he's comfortably huddled up in front of his computer. You'll see. Well, it's possible that I... Oh. I'm thinking of the other game, jeez. Bell rings, and no one answers. What? <laughs> hmm? That's odd. I just called and he said he would be here. I'm gonna freeze to death out here. Aren't you at least worried that I'll freeze to death as well? Oh, Mark, how silly. You know I'll be gone before you. What? That's not the response I was looking for. Well, it looks like there's only one thing we can do. Rare clear. Rin glares mischievously at the front door. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. One, two! Ah! Did we just... God damn it! <laughs> Bokusatsu Tenshi. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Uh, what's this? A heavenly silhouette has come to harvest my soul already. <laughs> Life is what it is, I suppose. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> Actually, it's not exactly the same. Uh, how do you go? Pew, 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 pew. No, uh, how did it? How is it? Pew, pew, pew. Oh, jeez. Too many pew. Uh. One, two, three. Pee pee doo pee doo pee Jeez. God damn. So many pee pee doo. <laughs> Ugh. Ouch. What just happened? <laughs> you got bludgeoned. <laughs> I'm greedy by Rin's worried face. Alright, that's enough. I'm alive already. No need to curse me further. That was dangerous. Don't you know that you shouldn't have... that you shouldn't lunge at someone's feet with your temple? Someone could have gotten hurt. Someone. Her eyes do seem a little teary, though. Actually, yeah, you can see that right there. Oh. Rin, just so you know, it isn't polite to charge into others. 
other people's front doors without permission. Oh. I, um, sorry. This makes the pulsing in my head a tad more bearable. Or maybe that's just the cold. Ah, look! There he is! <laughs> hey! Sorry I'm late. I had to run out and grab some things for lunch. Did I keep you waiting long? He looks around. There's an indentation in the snow scattered around his walkway. Rin is leaning on her left foot because her right is sore from the impact. What just happened? I hit something. Oh, I accidentally hit menu. Whoops. And I'm too dizzy to tell what's happening. He looks from the indentation to Rin to my head, then back to the indentation. Then he shrugs and unlocks the door. <laughs> Perfect. It's like. Whatever. Grab whatever you want to eat. I'll meet you in my room in a few minutes. Not bad. Not a bad place. I start to thaw as we step inside. Ooh, you got the new Choco and Ice book. Guess her guilt's worn off already. She scampers into Lucas's room and begins snooping around. I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by 2D girls. Oh god. <laughs> Holy mac. All the. I just recently played that. I recently played that one. Oh my god. They actually. They have actual crab here. Holy. It's <laughs> their trying to censor it all. <laughs> well, I think this is a good place to leave off for today. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And, till next time, keep rad.